So we're down at WMD Studios today and we're here with Jamming with Steve, just finished their live video podcast. Pleasure to have you here, guys. It's a pleasure, pleasure to, to be you here. too, man. Well, thank you. Of course, hopefully you've just had a good good time jamming through with us. Yes, mate. It was quality. Excellent. So uh, just want to have a bit of a chat, get to know you guys a little bit more. So um, we understand that you, you two haven't been together as a duo for too long. So uh, what's going on there? About the beginning of December, yeah, right? Sorry. Yeah, So how did it come about? How did you uh, Down the pub, together? really. Local open mic night yeah. down the fair. It's a good one as well. And uh, I just turned up there one, one evening to do an open mic night and we both got talking. I walked in as he was just going on stage because I was a separate act and I looked at him and I, he had his sunglasses on and I thought, he's got something. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. And then obviously, uh, other way around as well, when I see him singing, I was like, mate, he's really, really good. And we got, got mates and obviously gigging together at like, certain gigs. And uh, when he split up with his duo... On good times, good terms, of course. Um, we started busking one day, and uh, we started we just playing, weren't we? we just playing. There was Joe and this out there. It's like, it was like chemistry or whatever. But we just sounded really good, connected. And um, we said, should we just do something, see what happens? And we had our first open mic night beginning of December, and the feedback was just phenomenal. It was really, really nice. So a lot, lot of people giving us really lovely feedback. And then we thought, sod it, let's just do this. And we just, just, just started writing a lot yeah. as well. Every weekend, just these round miles yeah. staying over and just constantly writing. Awesome. So you got got quite a few new tracks together. Some, some of those that we heard this evening, are they all new ones? All three were all, all, all ours, All three yeah. new ones, awesome. So, uh, so, we've been, so we've been getting around the open mics over the last month then and I uh, understand you've been doing a bit of busking as well. It's yeah. Been going yeah. down all right? Yeah, yeah. Get, getting some money up for recording and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, uh, bust down fair and like, and it's uh, really good. It's practice as well. Yeah, exactly. It's not just about like it's getting together and practicing and hearing just random people. Like the other day, yeah. when I was playing, we was playing, weren't we? And the matey was lined up, all suited and booted and that. And we were playing one of our songs, which we didn't play today. It's called Empty Trees. And by the second verse came along, he was singing it along. And it's little That's things right. like that you hold on to. It's like, oh man, it's obviously catchy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really nice. I'm a little girl, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all right. Yes, you were. Up in bed, yeah. just singing one of our songs. It was just amazing. It was awesome. a lovely feeling like that. Awesome. So you, uh, you said you're saving up for recording. So you, uh, yeah. you're planning on doing a recording soon? 24th. Yeah, we've got a whole weekend. We've got a producer from London. Um, quite a big producer, actually. He really likes our stuff. And he really wants to get down. And he's made time, bless him, to come down to record us. We're going to have two days over the lodge down Victoria Park. And uh, yeah, we're going to crack out in two days and um, yeah, record. I'm really excited about that. Awesome. So do we, have we got any, any names for an EP or anything yet? No, we haven't, have we, oh. actually? We haven't thought about that, actually. Oh. <laughs> it's just going to be, because we were, we were thinking of a duo name, but we just thought we'd just keep it simple. And we'll probably just name it off one, one of the songs, the EP of one of the songs. I yeah, don't yeah, know sure. yet, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we're t- soon f- sort of signing out. Yeah, awesome. So oh, jamming with Steve is obviously you jamming. Steve, yeah. Say, yes. So previously you were, you were a solo, act. just solo, yeah. yeah. And you've been playing for playing around the area for quite some time. Yeah, now, well, you? it wasn't that it was before. Even when I was solo, I was in a couple of bands, and then when I had my little girl, I wanted a break, so I had a nice break. And um, like getting back last year, beginning of last year in January, I started getting, gigging again, and um, I got bored. I really did get bored. I started getting a really good rep. Like everyone was like knowing my songs and stuff, like Couple Charlie and stuff like that, and I just got really bored, and as soon as I started jamming with him, it was just brilliant. So I thought, commitment to this, we just cracked it on, didn't we? We did, we did, mate. Yeah. Awesome. So Steve, you obviously just split up with your previous uh, that's band right, of juice, I have, so. yeah. So that's yeah. uh, quite good timing, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, it was unfortunate at the time, but you know, one bad thing leads on to something good, I think. So and we left on good terms anyway, um, but you know, he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing, we're still mates. We were busting together busting actually together. yesterday. Yeah, we, yeah, we saw him, oh, saw awesome. him yesterday, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Okay, so, uh, so in terms of influences then, musical influences, are you guys coming from the same kind of place originally or have you got some different stuff really, going in uh, there? It's diverse, I think. I mean, I think if I speak for Jam as well, he's quite open to all sorts of music. Yeah, we, we, well. when we started chatting so, as well, like what music do you like? We was like, bloody hell, like Johnny Cash, we love yeah. Johnny Cash, uh, Bob Marley. The specials, uh, what else? I like a lot of like Stereophonics yeah. or Stone Roses sort of thing as well, but that's what I was brought up on. But or even Led Zeppelin, things like that, you know. All sorts of music. Anything, like, really. Very versatile as well about music. We don't stick to one thing. It's just whatever comes out, we even do. Even Mozart as well, I love it. <laughs> yeah. so did, you, did you find all this stuff making its way into, into the songs you've been writing recently? Well, we literally 
way we write is quite random because we just jam out once yeah. we hear something nice that yeah. we like we sort of like and then we start singing random words yeah. and then we work on, around that and we, then we start yeah we don't like sit down and we're going to write a song like this or we're going to write a song like that it's just whatever comes out at the time really. we wrote a song busking the other day we started jamming out we was looking at each other like, oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> get the camera out started recording it's a song so it's yeah. and then you work on that you just keep working it's, it's, you should never sit down and purposely write a song unless you're a storyteller or something like that but that's the way we do it isn't it Oh, well, it sounds like you guys have got uh, got a process to get released yeah, as well definitely. as you now. So, um, so obviously you've been playing the open mics. Have you got some uh, some other gigs lined up as well for late, late, uh, later on in the month or in the year? Yeah, well, we've got a, we've got a Brighton gig in fast first Brighton gig in March, yeah. didn't we? Which was quite surprised to get because I literally put our Facebook page on there and she inboxed us saying you're really good, loved you to play, and all this good like feedback we're getting is what that's what shocked us. But we've got our first proper. Actual proper gig, didn't we, on Thursday? Yeah, yeah, down the RMA. Yeah, on the 15th. That's with um, Nick RMA Court- Tavern with Nick Courtney. Yeah. So that should be really good fun, because that'll be our first half-hour set. Cause sure. Usually it's just three songs at yeah, an open yeah. mic. And then you, when, you, when you want to show more, you're like, ah. Oh. But yeah, yeah so... Yeah, especially really if, cool. if the crowd are loving it. Yeah, you know, that's, that's it, it as well. Yeah. And it's always by about the third song. You get whether they it. decide whether they're just like really got, Just yeah. really got everyone warmed that's up right, just in time to finish. Everyone dancing or singing away and that... Do you want the people, girl to go on the mix and go, yeah, play one more. <laughs> so we look at him and he's like, <laughs> so look, oh, take our leads out, yeah. yeah, right, yeah, so. yeah. Some days he's alright. Yeah, he is, yeah. Cool, so uh, it wouldn't be an interview after a WMD Studios podcast if we didn't ask you for one random fact. So, uh, have you guys got anything to share with us? One random fact. You, you go oh, fact, don't go. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> like don't this. put me on this, mate. Oh, the damn. fact of the day <laughs> is... <laughs> Mate, I'm really stuck to be quite honest. Um, Hang on. Uh, what happened then? Mike Tyson is fighting again in February. Fact. There you go, random fact. That is really random. I'm so sorry. Who's he fighting? Yeah, um, the... Who's he fighting? Yes. Some clitch cloth. Clitch cloth. <laughs> Clitchy clock or kitty cat. He, and Mike Tyson actually called him kitty cat. Kit, uh, but yeah, but that, that'd be quite interesting. Um... We can't accept one oh, fact from between you, two. unless you have one ready um, to go. Or a funny gig story. Bad that's a funny gig. Oh, um. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, a funny gig. Uh, oh, yeah, go on. Where are you going? Uh, um, well, I was in a metal band once, and uh, I played bass because uh, that's all I could play at the time. Uh, and we played. We got booked in in a Jamaican bar. And they were all had reggae bands and that playing, and we were opening, and we went on, and everyone was looking at us and that, and then we played our first song and it emptied. <laughs> so all the bands that brought people down, they went over because <laughs> of us. I've got one funny story, awesome. quick one. Awesome. I was at a gig, uh, Black Bar, if you remember that down Albert yeah, Road. Yeah. It's now you Fat Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was in my first ever band called the Ronnells, and um, we played a gig there, and it got a bit messy, and my mate was pretty drunk, and he there was a massive light well not massive it was like a mini riot and uh, he started jumping on tables the bouncer was trying to get him out and he grabbed the chair smashed it over like the table right got really embarrassed and I walked up to the barman like, after the gig I said I'm so sorry but don't say sorry that was the best fun we've had in years I was like Cushy. yeah because it was quite a chilled out bar yeah it? I it think was... the, only, the only times I went there they had like a jazz pianist playing I was only <laughs> yeah. in the States, that was it. but it got a bit messy and then that happened but they really enjoyed it they said it was the best night we've ever had so you take you learn from that and it's cool but no more riots fact Jimi Hendrix was left handed that is a fact there we go must be something about left handed guitarists that's it geniuses <laughs> <laughs> cool so yeah. anything else that you guys want to share with us Really? So t- check out our Facebook page, Jamming with Steve, uh, facebook.com forward slash Jamming with Steve. Got live videos and that stuff on there. And be able to catch up on our gig dates and stuff. So yeah, like to say thank you for you lot for having us here yeah, as well. Yeah, it's been really, really nice. Yeah, well, thanks so much for coming down, guys. Really enjoyed the music and thank hopefully you. everyone watching has enjoyed the tunes as well. So uh, there we go. We're WMD Studios and this has been Jamming with Steve. Cheers. Thank you. Nice.